channel. And for this video, we are going to talk about the selection of stocks and stocking practices. So come on, dive in with us to the sea of knowledge. I am Archwin Domingo and I will be discussing the computation involving fish stocking. So first, I will be discussing how to find the total number of stocks. Second, is I will be discussing how to find the principal or total number of stocks percentage survival or mortality of stocks and the survival rate or mortality rate of stocks. Lastly, I will be finding for the total stocks in three RPS over PPS compartments of a modular pond system. For our second computation, this will be finding for the total number of stocks. The formula for the total number of stocks is number of stocks is equal to area times the stocking rate per unit area. Our example problem, if the standard rate of the stocking is 20,000 per hectare, how many fish will be needed to stock in a 50 meter by 80 meter pond? For the solution, option one is to first determine the area if such is not given or it is unknown. Therefore, 50 meter by 80 meter is equal to 4,000 meters squared. Second is to solve for the number of stocks using the formula above. Number of stocks is equal to 4,000 meters squared times 20,000 fish per hectare times 1 hectare over 10,000 meters squared. The answer will be 80 million fish times meters squared over 10,000 meters squared. The resultant will be 8,000 fish. For the second option, this will be first to determine the area if such is known. Again, the area is 4,000 resulting from 50 meters times 80 meters. Second is to convert the stocking rate per hectare to stocking rate per meter squared. Therefore, stocking rate per meter squared is equal to 20,000 fish over 1 hectare times 1 hectare over 10,000 square meters. The resultant is equal to 20,000 fish over 10,000 meters squared. The answer is 2 fish per square meters. Finally, solve for the number of stocks needed. This is equal to number of stocks equals 4,000 square meters times 2 fish over meter squared. The final answer will be 8 thousand fish. Option 3 is you can use the ratio and proportion formula such that the given bigger area is equal to given number of stocks is equal to given smaller area is 2x or unknown stocks. Or you can say that the given bigger area over given number of stocks is equal to given smaller area over x. So for the substitution, this will be equal to 10,000 meters squared over 20,000 fish is equal to 4,000 meters squared over x. So this means that 10,000 meters squared times x is equal to 4,000 meters squared times 20,000 fish. Therefore, our x is 80 million fish times meters squared over 10,000 meters squared. Our final answer will be 8,000 fish. So next, we'll be finding for the principal or total number of stocks, the percentage survival or mortality of stocks, and survival rate or mortality rate of stocks. First, we need to solve for the principal or total number of stocks. Our example problem is, your 4 hectare grow out or rearing ponds, RPs, require 128,000 bangus fingerlings for the whole year round of culture operation, say four times in a year. If this above figure represents 70% of the total purchase, how many bangus fry then are you going to purchase to include the allowance for 30% mortality to be incurred in the NP and TP before they could raise in the said RPs? For the formula, the principal or total number of stocks is equal to the percentage survival of stocks, survival rate of stocks, divided by 100. In substitution, 
So there is 120,000, 128,000 bangus fingerlings fish over 70 divided by 100. And there are 128,000 fingerlings over 0.70. This means that there are 182, 857 bangus fry. Next is the percentage survival of stocks. What is the percentage survival of stocks if only 70% has been accounted for out of the total purchase of 182,857 bangus fry after they have been reared in the NP and TP? For the formula, the percentage survival of stocks is equal to the principal or total number of stocks times the survival rate of stocks over 100. In substituting, there will be 182,857 fry times 70 over 100. This means that we have to multiply 182,857 times 0.7. So, there will be total 128,000 bangus fingerlings. Lastly, we have to calculate for our survival rate of stocks. What is the survival rate of stocks if only 128,000 have been accounted for from the original 182,857 bagus fry purchase after having them raised in the NP and TP? The formula is that survival rate of stocks is equal to percentage of survival stocks over principal or total number of stocks times 100. In substituting, there is 128,000 bangus fingerlings over 182,857 bangus fry times 100. Therefore, there is 0.7 times 100, which is equal to 70%. Third is that we will be finding for the total stocks in three RPS over PPS compartments of a modular pond system. So the problem is, in a modular pond system of 1 is to 2 is to 4 ratio of RPS over PPS, the total stocking density per RPS over PPS shall be based from the RPS 3 over PPS 3, the pond with the largest compartment. If the stocking rate in the RPS 3 over PPS 3 having an area of 4 hectares, is 3,000 fish over hectare, how many fish would be stuck in RPS1 over PPS1 with an area of 1 hectare? For the formula, the number of stocks is equal to area times stocking rate of fish per unit area in hectares. The solution is that 4 hectares of RPS3 over PPS3 times 3,000 fish per hectares. So there will be 12,000 fish that will be stuck in the RPS 3 over PPS 3. We should take note that RPS 1 over PPS 1 and RPS 2 over PPS 2 will be stuck with the same 12,000 fish each as in the RPS 3 and PPS 3. Because the fish are still in their fingerling stage. Take note that the fish are transferred from one compartment to the other as they grow.